Katie. Uh, Katie wants me to talk about dancing. Yes. Unfortunately, my guy isn't dancing. I think he's he's battling a Hulk right now or something. So I got addicted to an app last week. And <laughs> and so unfortunate, I know. Uh, so there is this app called um, Avengers Academy. And uh, it's the, it's basically the Simpsons tapped out of uh, of Avengers, um, but it's diabolical because not only is it like like the the um, you know it's, it's the tapped out like I get my little guy like there's low key right and he did some stuff and I'm gonna go tap on things to to get my rewards and let me see let me see if I can I'm gonna do this I know I'm gonna lose for this but um, okay so basically you're you're it's Avengers Academy. Everybody is a teenager except for Nick Fury and Hank Pym for some reason, right? Because they're perpetually old. Because they're perpetually <laughs> old. and uh, But there's a strange mystery that's happening because if you're in here and there's this time fog that you have to reveal uh, places, right? And we don't know what's going on and we're seeing strange things in the time fog and 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 and. And, and even like they, they moved some debris over here. We saw um, um, Tony Stark's uh, Tony Stark's uh, uh, um, uh, helmet from when he's uh, what, from later when he would when he hasn't even made his helmet because he's a damn teenager. Look at him. That's actually the second uh, level for him uh, where where he has just a little bit of the Iron Man suit. So there's this weird mystery going on, and there's a storyline that's really captivated you if you're a Marvel fan. Uh, Wasp is one of the probably like the second character that you get, and uh, she's uh, big on social media um, <laughs> and fashion, apparently. Uh, so, so a lot of some of her tasks include um, going to uh, post parties on social media or something like that. Uh, but the most amazing thing, and this is the thing that kind of captured me at first. So, I say low key, I know he's a bad guy, <laughs> but there's there's some interesting stuff going on here, and I'm going to do this at, again at the detriment of knowing that I'm not going to get anything out of this because I need to show you guys. There is a you you often you get these tasks. Like I got a couple of these, and I'll, if I if I send them to uh, uh, practice brainwashing over at Shield headquarters, I'll get some rewards. If I have them go fight a bomb for a little bit, I'll get some rewards. But I'm going to sacrifice that right right now because you need to check out dan uh, mastering the dance floor. And he's going to go over to the dance floor in the club over on Aca Avengers Academy. And uh, as soon as he gets over there, I'll show you. And he's going to just do a jig for two hours. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go if you're on video. Uh, this is pretty fantastic. Uh, you say, it's, it's diabolical. It's captured my imagination. It's that mindless thing that I get to do. But I get to see Loki dancing. At some point, I had Loki, Falcon, and Tony Stark all dancing completely stag on the dance floor um, for for about at least four hours um, because that's just everything just just ran out. No girls, no girls allowed apparently. Um, what what is that on? It's iOS. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Wow. No, this is on my phone. Um, it, it's iOS. Yeah. I, I I believe there is a, a Android version as well, and it all connects over using Facebook. So it's one of those things like like a lot of these are when they're freemium. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't stop. And then on top of that, on top of that, <laughs> the lead, they have a special event. The leader has invaded and he's shooting and he, he, this, this building has been on. Oh, he stopped shooting. Oh, huh, something happened. He was, he, this, this thing was on fire for like the last week. Um, but, uh, the, the leader is here and I need to build up my guys to fight a bomb and the red Hulk, uh, over here. And uh, and there's 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 a rival academy. There's the Hydra Academy that, <laughs> that you need to, and they they'll they'll come and try to start fights. Um, it's it's the dialogue is is interesting. Um, the voices are actually interesting. Uh, Allison Brie of Community, I think, voices the Wasp. John Cena of WWE voices uh, the Incredible Hulk, and I uh, I think uh, which one's the lesser Franco uh, is actually uh, Tony Stark. Not James, the other one. Not James, the other one. That yeah. So I mean, <laughs> lesser. <laughs> some 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 legit actors and and pro wrestlers apparently in this. Not that you really have the audio on all the time because you're going to hear the same phrase over and over and over. Um, so is it like where you have to like if you want extra coins you have to you can buy them? Oh yeah, oh and... yeah. Like like they're like oh you can buy this guy like early if you have like all these shards and I'm like screw your shards man. There's a problem with Marvel games. So there's a Marvel fighter called Contest of the Champions and, and that's a... I'm addicted to that. Right. And there right. has been ca I, I would be embarrassed if you saw the bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh you've actually let's watched just, Let's just put it I that way. I refuse to buy anything. <laughs> oh okay now it's intervention time now. Uh, but there's another one called Future Fight. 
which is like a um if you ever play like the x-men legends like it's that bat it's a it's a it's a action rpg kind of thing right like an isometric top down kind of thing um where you 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 swap your you swap your guys in now here's my problem i have this problem with contest of champions chilla it is damn confusing it is because there's like i mean other than i just go ahead and do whatever it tells me and click on things until it tells me to purchase something um but i get in here um, if I can pull this up on the screen for you guys on video, I get in here. Okay, I have like two daily specials, you know, and it's all it's, it's always this this weird these weird things, and they're very very rough about you wanting to buy things. That's um, not contest of champions. No, this is future fight. Okay, but you see how many things I have across the top that I collect? Like there are like oh, like four is... four meters of things to collect, and they get acquired through different means. Now I love the characters. I love that I have like Miss Marvel is, is, is the new teenage, teenage Miss Mar Marvel. She just showed up in contest of champions. She's awesome. She's awesome. I, the, the book <laughs> the book is so great. Uh, I, I recommend anybody who's in the comic. Um, stuff. Go go start from the beginning and, and read the book. Um, but you go on these missions and uh, you have your team up kind of thing, like Contest of Champions. And uh, da, 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 there's a storyline that I don't care about. Da, 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 da. A lot of reading, a lot of reading, a lot of reading. And we get into it and it's an action thing. Um, Is this a side by side fighter? No, 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 no. I, I don't know how to ex explain it. It's just kind of an, an over the top action RPG thing. You really just kind of click on things. Like, I don't even have to move my character. Like officially, like it actually. If I hit an action, it will just go towards the next guy and, and hit him. Okay. And then I have some special things. I can hit a hit a, a friend to team up, just like in Mortal Kombat. Um, it, it looks pretty serious, doesn't it, on a full screen like that? Yeah. But it's just on my iPhone. Um, so I mean, it caught my attention there. Half the times you're kind of you're kind of button mashing a little bit, and uh, I don't really know what's going on. Hulk is so badass in this game. Um, not John Cena in this game that I'm aware of. Um, but it, it's a pretty serious, fun game. Um, a, again, it's really going to be kind of diabolical and try to uh, uh, get you to, to the buy things as well. Um, but really, I'm just kind of smashing things up, and I'm good to go, and I'm done for the day. Uh, so, I mean, that's that's future fight. So these are the things that I'm trying not to pay for. <laughs> I, buy yeah, my I lost at that game. You lost at that game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have been pretty good. I play. I've gone through WWE Supercard. I've gone through WWE Immortals for a good bit. Mortal Kombat X. Uh, uh, Mortal Kombat X. Injustice. I didn't, I didn't pay for anything for. I couldn't get into Injustice, but then the Star Wars Commander. Oh, no. I'm not paying. I'm not paying on it. Yeah, but I am hooked. Yeah, hard. In, in Star Wars Commander. I That was one of those... That's You know, sometimes you load up a game like that and you see what the process is for what they're going to start bugging you for right off the mm -hmm. bat. And you're like, nah, we're out. We're, I'm, not, I'm not up for this. Like, my <laughs> mindset has to be there for something like that. Like, to me, Commander reminded me of, like, the original SimCity mm -hmm. with, with some extra fighting type stuff. And, and it, it's just... It's one of those things where I can, pl I can, I can hit it up and then not come back for eight hours... And be good to go. Whereas, like contest of champions, there's days where I'm like, oh, I get I get three more credits in two hours. I got to be back. Or oh, but it's only four dollars and ninety nine cents. I could play some more right now. <laughs> <laughs> anything I, I I just look at anything that has a to continue. You have to uh, uh, pay either in fake money or this money. Like I just take that as a well. I've been playing long enough. I'm good to go. You know. Yeah. I think I think that's good. And, and I, I, I don't know. Are you guys, Katie, crappy? Are you are you are you addicted to anything like this? Katie, uh, I just found. Um, oh shoot, I didn't download it quite yet. But it's a Fitbit game that changes your steps into different weapons and gold. It's like a Fitbit RPG. Really? And mm. I just found it because I was I was downloading the uh, uh, Mama Daughters now has a it's Fit RPG gamifying Fitbit. Um, I don't know if it's just on Android. I know it's in the iTunes store too. Um, uh, but I was downloading the Fitbit app for Mama Daughters, and I came across this, and I haven't had a chance to try it yet. But have you seen the run? Was it Run Zombies Run? Yeah, the one that makes yeah. you like cross the street and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I haven't tried that one out yet, but um, but, I mean that's kind of that, that's a whole other thing. I mean it's that kind of augmented reality thing where mm -hmm. like um um I can't remember the game. What was what was the game? Uh. They, made made by the Android people. The Android people, they're they're going ingress. To, ingress. Ingress was that where you have these points and you it makes you walk around your neighborhood and go to these points and power up and it's and an RPG. It's big in the city thing. and you partner up with oh, other yeah. people and Oh yeah. Ingress was great. And it's even it, I actually I feel like 
I would still be hooked on Ingress if it didn't kill the battery on all my devices when mm-hmm. it came out. Now the technology is so much better. I mean, GPS isn't going to kill your battery like it used to. Mm-hmm. So I could probably get back into that. But now I'm so far behind with with the other people that have, have joined up and, and have leveled up so far. It's kind of like, why should I bother now? Fit RPG by Fat Chicken Studios. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Downloading, maybe, I think. <laughs> we'll try that out. We'll see.